In this video, I'll be showing you how to wirelessly transfer files between two Android devices. So for this to work, both of the devices need to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. After doing that, you're going to have to install this app called CX File Explorer on both devices. So just head over to the Play Store and search for CX File Explorer and install it on both of the devices. After installing it, just open it on both of the devices. Now, what we're going to be doing is transferring a file from the phone on the left to the phone on the right. So for the phone on the left, you need to head over to Network, tap it, and then tap this first option, Access from. The, the rest of the text is not visible. So just tap here. So when you tap Access from Network, this is what it should look like. For me, I don't like the random password option. So what I do is I uncheck this. And I like to keep things simple. For the port, I enter 2222, so two, four times. And I do the same for the password, but um, this time it's two, six times. So you can tap here if you want. Uh, it's not necessary, but if you want to have full access to all your files, this one will make sure that even the hidden files on your phone will be visible to the other device. So after that, tap Start Service. So this is what it's going to show. Now you can keep the phone on the left so for the phone on the right i don't have a mouse so i'm just going to tell you what i'm tapping so just like the other device i'll tap network and then i'll tap access from so you have two options you can tap this icon in the top right corner and it's going to do a scan so you find um, the other device so this is the other device over here but if this doesn't work go back tap new location this blue button over here tap remote tap ftp and then if you check the device on the left there's an address over there ftp and some numbers 192.168.1.143 so that's what you want to enter here 192 so after entering the number you come down to where it says port and enter 2222 so this is the port on the phone on the left so on the other device you can see that ftps is selected change it to ftp it's going to say not secure but don't worry about it okay so next we have the username and the password and that has been provided for you on the on the device on the left so all i'll do now is enter the username which is pc and the password is one, two, three, four, five, six, two, 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 two. And after that, I'll tap OK. So now the phone on the right has access to the files that are on the phone on the left. So from here, I can navigate to where that picture is. So this is the picture over here. And I can copy it to where I want. So I'll just long press it and then tap copy. Then head back to my own storage. So I'll tap the home button over here. Then go to local main storage and I can save the picture if I want into my own storage. And that's basically it. You have full access to the phone on the left. And after you're done copying all the files you want, on the phone on the left, just tap stop service. And the phone on the right will not be able to have access to all the files again on the phone on the right. So yeah. That's basically how you do it. This is one of the best apps for doing wireless file transfers. Alright, if you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this. I'll be seeing you in the next one. Take care and bye-bye.